morning and welcome to another glorious day it's 116 days to the 2023 election on february 25th 2023 election nigerians we go to the poll and they will decide who become the president of the federal republic of nigeria and also who become members of the national assembly a week after that they will also return back to the polls and decide who will become the Got the executive governors of the different states and also members of the state houses of assembly. It's such an important, important, important job. And whoever it is that we put in there are going to lead us the next four years and most likely for the next eight years for those who will be uh, returning. So it's very important that we ensure that we put in the right people. At this moment in Nigeria, it's really, really very tough for Nigeria. Nigeria is on the brink. And so we must do everything that needs to be done. We must do the needful to ensure that we are voting in the right people that can give us good governance, accountability, and transparency. And we must do away with tribal sentiments, religious sentiments, and whatever uh, kind of sentiments. Let's choose candidates. Let's vote candidates that have competence, character, and capacity. We'll also be looking at Section 39 of the Electoral Act 2022. And Section 29, sorry, Section 39, not 29. Section 39 is, talk, is talking on, about uncontested elections. So that's election where only one person is nominated. Does that ever happen? Nah, I don't think in this kind of place where everybody wants to get into office. If it's something like PTAs, where they know there's no money, you see that's where you find, where there's sacrificial leadership, it's women. Women are there, no money, nothing. You see a lot of people they won't want to do or estate kind of election or association election where people know it's all work and sacrifice actually and service. Many people... Uh, you find a lot of people are usually on uh, uh, unopposed, but this kind of election, there are always many of them. Anyway, but then the law has to take care of everything. Section 39, uh, subsection 1 says, where after the expiration of time for delivery of nomination papers, withdrawal of candidates and the extension of time as provided for in this act, there is only one person who is validly nominated in respect of an election other than to the office of the president or governor, that person shall be declared elected. So there's no need of going to the poll. There's no need of that. If it's not for governor and president for the other rest position, then it, the person will just be declared elected. Then subsection two of that section 39 also says, now says, where a person is declared elected under subsection one, a declaration of result form as may be prescribed by the commission shall be completed and a copy issued to the person by the returning officer while the original of the form shall be returned to the commission as in the case of a contested election. So they will just do it just the way they return uh, in the case if it was uh, contested. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Bye.